11 years ago, Haiti was hit by another earthquake that devastated the country's capital. Andrew America spoke with people from Wisconsin who saw the destruction in 2010 firsthand and the massive panic afterwards. July 12th, 2010, a massive earthquake rocks Haiti less than 20 miles from the nation's capital, killing hundreds of thousands and damaging buildings. Yeah, as soon as you got anywhere near the capital city, uh, buildings were just down everywhere. Including a school built by an organization from Madison. It did not fall, it wasn't pancaked, but it cracked and, and was condemned and could not be used again afterwards. Brian Sergio, an ordained pastor who lives in Madison, co-founded Haiti Allies 20 years ago. The organization supports education, meal and job programs in the country, work that came to a screeching halt when that quake struck 11 years ago. A couple of our students were in a university class, an eight-story building that pancaked and they were on the first floor. Um, yeah, it was gut-wrenching. Sergio was on the ground in Haiti two weeks after that earthquake. 11 years later, he had a familiar feeling when he woke up and saw the news. I needed to find out where it was and just what it was impacting. This quake struck further west, not impacting Haiti allies operations, but devastating. There is round the clock uh, vigil of people sorting through rubble now trying to find their loved ones. 1,400 and counting now dead, thousands more hurt, and a tropical depression now barreling for the island. Haiti Allies hasn't been able to visit the country for two years because of the pandemic. Sergio knew and lost people in the quake 11 years ago, but says what he learned from the survivors was strength. All the people from the other countries who came to help them usually wound up being helped by the resilient spirit and, and you know, tenacity of the Haitian people. His organization, Haiti Allies, is not directly funding any relief work right now in the country, but many other organizations are. He says if you'd like to donate, make sure you're giving to established organizations with direct networks in Haiti to get the money to where it's needed most. Sriracho says that's what he saw was most effective back in 2010.